This is the final part of my Silent Ponyville playthrough. If you have not watched the first two parts, you may feel a bit disoriented and confused about the nonsense that is happening on screen. So please check the playlist in the description below to find out all about it or leave forever so you don't have to. Anyway, now we have to go to East Ponyville, but it's not immediately obvious how you're supposed to do that. In fact, I do a lot of searching around for a good 20 minutes trying to figure out what the hell. So eventually I do the obvious thing I should have done and go to the uh, west side, well, northwest side of the place. And I get the Ponyville East key, which makes it sound as, as if I'm supposed to use it on the gate area over to the top right, roughly. But, well, as some of you are about to see, that's not the case. Figure out it's up there. Use the Silent Ponyville East key, but the key don't work. This is weird. The, this key is in for this door. Probably was a trick of that blue hedgehog. I guess you're right. But this key must open something. Well, let, let's find out what this key opened. Yes, good idea. That went a bit faster than I should have left it happen. Anyway, I go back to the other gate. And of course it's not going to work. But that's probably a good thing. Because uh, then a, a stroke of genius happens on my mind. Which makes me do something that not many players would do. And not a lot of people play this game. Less than a thousand, or roughly a thousand? No, less than a thousand. Used fake key. It don't work. So there's that. I forgot about the the gate in the south portion of the this uh, area. So I spend a great deal of time just searching around everywhere, trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. And this leads me. Hold on. I uh, do a small detour here, checking Trixie's home. Are you alright, Max? Yes, don't worry. Trixie. So I go all the way back to the very beginning of the, this area and find this blue thing. And it's an egg. Look, it's an egg from a monster. I can use this for studying. You will think this is a good moment for that? No, but I like this. Now it's mine. Alright, Twilight, alright. And this is actually an Easter egg. Sort of, kinda. And it has a stupid description, but... It's, a uh, it does something with the ending. The egg. Which means I never actually get to see the normal ending, as far as I know. I don't care much to try this game again. If you really must know the normal ending, then just play this game yourself and never pick up that thing. Because it changes, uh, the ending. Expands upon it. Very poorly, but whatever. Anyway. I'm going to skip ahead to when I actually fi finally do some progress now. I have to go through roughly uh, the southeast of South Ponyville. Uh, Silent Ponyville, that is. We will need to find another way. Damn! Luck is in our side. Damn! Luck is in our side! Maybe we can try to get into that window. Are you serious? I can broke a nail if I do it. You don't have nails, Rarity. Look who's talking. Enough, you two. We aren't going to get into that window. Um, girls, there's a note in the window. Oh, you're right. There's a problem with the sewers. Looks like one of the water levels is broken. Now the water is impossible to drink. We need a solution to this immediately. Dear citizen, thanks for saying to me this problem. We'll make a solution to this as soon as possible. Thanks for your cooperation. Oh, yes, I remember that day. What happened? My parents were volunteers to help. That's because the well near my house is the only one who can go to the sewers of the town. I'm not going to go there. Who said anything of... That's not a bad idea. The sewers can be a way to go to Silent Ponyville's east part. Ah, uh, alright. That's my rarity. So yeah, now we have to go back to Flourishai's house. I didn't... I saw it several times while playing this, but I haven't shown it in the footage so far. Or if it did, it was in the fast forward segments. Uh, her home is right nearby here. This is the well? Yes. We need a rope to get down there. Another rope? Seriously? That's what it looks, Spike. Yep, so now we have to go find a rope and it is, uh, well, I have to go through searching through the barrels yet again. This fortunately will be the last time we ever have to find a rope, but still. Three times and they all get expended when we use them. Why is there so many ropes in this town? 
Probably they know it will come here. If we're talking about Nightmare Moon and more than probably that this rope was here in intentionally. Man, Nightmare Moon isn't original at all. Oh, it's ropes. Always ropes. Last time we do ropes, though, because it's the last time we have to go into a well. You know, Twilight could have just levitated those items that were deep in the, deep in the whales before. And in this case, I'm pretty sure Flourishai could have just, like, you know, brought everyone down one by a time. Uh, unless uh, Master Max is also a Pegasus. Don't know about that. Anyway, down the sewers. Quick save. And... This is a very linear maze. And it's very boring. Just, like, the, it tries to be exciting, but no, this is uh, your typical uh, boring sewer maze. It's just really just a chore to go through. Oh, and uh, accident I accidentally uh, activate uh, sticky keys or filter keys, something like that, because I'm holding shift all the time. It's a bit bothersome, but I fix it every time it happens, so no worries. There's a few items you can find in this maze-like area, but uh, they're all like... I, I never use those items. That's how useless they are. I picked them up anyway because, you know, why not? But no, compared to the Easter egg I got for for going all the way back to the beginning, those potions have absolutely no value to the plot or even the gameplay. If this appears to go on for a bit longer than it should, that's because it is. Also, the filter keys activate several times without me wanting it to. Like every time Applejack pauses in place, that's uh, the filter keys activating, aggravatingly enough. Anyway, yeah, this definitely goes on for much longer than it should. But I, I leave it be because, you know. And then I just completely turned off the filter keys here. So it's not going to bother me anymore. But however, for here... Well, really. I mean, it starts with that, and now it's going to continue with that. This is a problem. Now what? We need to find another way. <laughs> <There's> all <laughs> it's all linear here. There's no other ways, period. And the game is trying to spook you, but it's not... I mean, I'm a grown man. This doesn't scare me. I suppose it can freak out for some of the younger folks trying this out, but but as for me, I'm already used to the, this game's like amateurishness, something like that. <laughs> Probably not the proper word to use, but it's a word that's coming to mind right now. In a way, I think we have to activate all the surprise jump scares until this happens. And here, I immediately go south, and I somehow find my way through this segment uh, on my first quote-unquote try. At least I think I do. Because I'm not sure if uh, this is the actual intentional way, but it, it is a way that I ma managed to get me right here. Now, I hope you're all ready for the spookiest thing about this game. It's gonna be really spooky! Ready? Three, two, one, go! Wow, that sure was scary. Damn it! My god, that was horrible! That was weird. That was how I was a kid again. Dreaming about monsters. I wanna go home! We don't have another option, Flourishai. Come on, girls, let's go. And that's it for the sewer segment. There was never any danger to begin with, unless I missed a death somehow. It's very dark now. It must be midnight. I don't wanna see this town in the night. Spike has a point there. Better if we look for a safe place. Alright. Sewer access. We're not going back down there. I don't think we can at all, actually. 
And uh, then uh, a surprise guest for uh, people who like a certain rainbow pony. Here's where Rainbow Dash was living? I thought she was living in Cloudsdale. Rainbow Dash's past is really weird. Don't you realize that Rainbow Dash never talked to us about their parents? You're right. What if she don't tell us some nothing? There must for some reason. I know. I have curiosity of how was her home in the past. Me too, but we aren't here for that. I know, I know. We need to find Princess Cadence. I don't know what to say about it. I mean, Nightmare Moon bringing us to this house. I'm sure there must be something that we need in that house. It's only me, or are you always want to do the opposite of me? Eh, face of being joking? Well, it is the only face you have in all the game. What? Nah, yeah, it's nothing. Yeah, all the barrels are empty, and we are not going to go inside the house because that is what we're... Well, actually, no, there's a key that we have to get first. Too much obvious. Let's be careful. That was way too obvious. And un unnecessary. Why did that happen? Especially considering who's inside. And this lamps? This place is perfect for rest. We don't have to get out until tomorrow. Yeah, this is the exact same layout as uh, Kane does K Candace's home. <laughs> Uh, back in uh, the beginning of uh, episode one, or video one, I should say. So even within the same game, the creator is also recycling interiors as well. Rainbow Dash? Girls, what are you doing here? Only Pixis can get out of this town once you enter. We knew it. How? We're here because my brother is looking for our Princess Cadence, and she is in this town. We're looking for her to bring us the Elements of Harmony to destroy the curse of the town. And um, Twilight, when we say anything about the Elements of Harmony, it isn't obvious? We can't defeat Nightmare Moon without the Elements of Harmony. Oh, you're right. Really? Wow, that's awesome. More than awesome. Is Pinkett awesome? And you get here all alone? That's incredible. And um, I hate to say this, but we have help. My name is Master Max, commander of the elite of the Crystal Empire. I came here with the mission of rescue Princess Cadence and Twilight Sparkle. My pleasure. There's something I don't understand, darling. What are you doing here? Oh well, it's a long story. Tell it, we have time. Well, look, this was my house and here's where my parents live. Until the town fell into the curse, I was able to escape, but my parents... I know it is lose your family. You will never be able to think how I lost mine. That's the reason we need to be stronger each day, by our own. Oh goodness gracious, I don't even want to think what he's trying to infer with that. Thanks, dude. It's nothing. It's my will how Commander cheer up my comrades in the battle. He's all a soldier, and I want to be a soldier. Rainbow Dash joined the team. All right, girls, now what? Hello. Princess, you're right. I see you're right, too. Wait a minute, I know you. My husband sent you here? Yes, my mistress. Perfect, your help is very useful. Princess, we know how to destroy the curse. Really? Tell me, quick. Yeah, unlike Master Max's backstory, this does not deserve a cutscene. That's a great idea. I'm gonna bring here the elements of harmony. Don't worry about it. Perfect. Be careful, my mistress. Don't worry, Max. I'll be fine. Girls, take an eye on Master Max when I'm not here. Okay, princess. Hey! Alright, I must go. I'll be back soon. Be careful, girls. Alright. Wow, that, that laugh track. This is totally a serious game. I, I mean, I... I know, this might be a reaction game, you know? Something that was meant to be played by people for, like, reacting to it. Possibly by Master Max himself, but... Anyway, despite that, it doesn't improve the quality of the game at all. If, even if it is made as a joke, or as a, like, low bro real reaction video. Anyway, door open. Obviously, we have to go in there. Um, girls, th th this door was open before? Another signal, Nightmare Moon! We're near! Come on, there was no time to waste! This is getting really interesting. Strange, I don't remember it opened this before. Let's continue. No! Why would we continue? Let's just go rest. That's what we're supposed to do. But no, we actually have to get to the trap. The Sabia. We're locked in. That's, that's what I think it means. There's two open boxes here, but... Um, girls, do you... Did you realize that this box has no bottom? Now that you're saying that... I'm sure that Nightmare Moon wants us to get in there. No tanks! Unfortunately... It's like... 
I mean, really, JRPG nonsense cliches, but thou must. Get in. Play some sound effects. That don't exactly feel appropriate. And we can't leave now that we're here. Just climb or go down the staircase. I'm not sure which is which. And... Very soon. Yep. I mean, why why would that not happen? We, we have clearly not had enough of those playing this. Like, the problem with it is that this is not done tongue-in-cheek, you know? It's... it's it's not enough self-aware, is what I'm trying to say. Especially because this is only part two of a, a five-game series that with no part one for some reason. Wait, what? Yeah, this is basically a maze of some sorts where you're supposed to j you're supposed to guess that you're supposed to go all the way top there, or all the way above there, and just go down there. It's not difficult, but it's like, what's the point? And a safe point just before the final boss. Or this, rather. This is one of the worst puzzles the game has implemented. You have to activate switches, which brings down the gate. The other switches, they kill you instantly. By explosion, which doesn't make your character disappear. But it counts as a game over. I mean, this is complete nonsense. There's no hints to how this works. There's no way to figure it out by, like, logic or anything. You just have to guess until you get it right. And it goes by a sequence of four switches, so it's incredibly aggravating. Now, fortunately, I managed to figure out the combination on my second try. Because it is only four switches. But it never... It, this really never should have happened. Period. Anyway, yeah, we're at the final boss already now. Just checking those orbs near your throne, Nightmare Moon, and then we're gonna talk to you. Nightmare Moon. Welcome. Where is your beloved Trixie? Is with me. We know what are you doing to the town. We know you are the source of the curse. We know Trixie changed by your fault. I'm not scared of you. You defeat me once, but you will not be able to do it again. Listen to me, Nightmare Moon. I will do everything to save Trixie. I will do everything to rescue her. That's what you said the last time. But if you have been to defeat Sonic, you must be more stronger than before. But you will never be able to defeat me. Any of you will be able. That's what you think, Nightmare Moon. We're gonna kick you in the ass. I'm not afraid of you, Nightmare Moon. I have friends this time at my side. Yeah, no? Okay, show me then what you got. Trixie! Trixie? Trixie! Well, 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 is Twilight Sparkle here? Trixie. Looks like she don't remember you, Max. We have a fight to do, Twilight. Yes. Max, let's rescue Trixie. What? How? This is not going to be easy for you, but we have to weak her. Later, with the Elements of Harmony, we'll be able to bring Trixie back to where she was. Twilight? Are you serious, Max? You're going to hurt you love after so much time. Ag, Don't hear to her, Max. He's trying to provoke you. Enough talking, let's fight! Trixie! Forgive me! Yep, time to fight Trixie and... It's... Trixie, please, I don't want to hurt you! Shut up and fight, you red pony! Okay, there's a bit of dialogue here. Uh, there is a special gimmick to this. Is that Master Max is not gonna do anything for once. Like, he cannot do anything. And... Uh, that makes the fight uh, slightly more challenging, I guess, but really, all you need to do is poison Trixie and it's going to be over in a roughly three turns. And you can confuse her too. In fact, I don't think Trixie does a single thing when I fight her in this fight. And I already poisoned her in the first turn, so really, this is already over. I've already won this. I'm just uh, leaving the fight to uh, go on for a bit of time here because... There's going to be a bit of uh, extra dialogue for, like, the ponies pointing out that Master Max is not doing anything. Max, what are you doing? 
I'm sorry, girls. I can't do this. Don't worry, Max. We will do this for you. Come on, girls. Now or never. Yep, and that's it. That wasn't an anticlimactic uh, end to this fight. Technically, we didn't uh, beat Trixie. She beat herself. Anyway, actually, we learned new skills here. They don't really have any use in the following fight, though. I mean, it's literally the last fight. Ugh. Fascinating. Now bring Trixie to normal. Now! You're really funny, Blue Pony. But, well, Trixie's useless now. Come back to normal, dude. Trixie? What's happening? Trixie, you're back! That voice. Max, is it really you? <laughs> so bad! Trixie, my god, I doubt I never will see you again! But what's happening? Trixie? Oh, hello. Who are you? Everything was by Namaramu's fault! He helped you in the rescue, Trixie! Oh, thank you very much. Wow, she's completely new. It was a pleasure, Trixie. I'm still here, you know. Nightmare Moon! Hello again, Trixie. Now is your end, Nightmare Moon. You're gonna pay all the sins. And we will help you, buddy. Me too. What? You too, Trixie? Yes, Max. I feel ready for this. All right. You're all crazy. Any pony can defeat me. I'll bring the Eternal Knight and anyone can stop me. <laughs> it's so freaking bad. I mean, seriously. Miss, m m mixing up no pony and any pony and anyone and, and no one. Really made some for some funny lines. Anyway, I, I guess I kind of like the music in this fight, but no, re really, it's just poisoned her and it'll be over in a few rounds. Uh, Trixie is useless, by the way, a weaker version of Twilight. Like the show version, I guess. Oh, yes! Goodbye, Nightmare Moon. You are defeated. For, for, for now. She, she makes quite a few reappearances if you like her for some reason. Uh, this can't be possible! Nightmare Moon, you're doomed now. Give up! Never! Ugh! Someone more is wondering what's that sound? Girls, I'm here! The elements of harmony, take them! Perfect. Now, girls, come on! Yes! No! 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 To be quite frank, I'd rather take this over Elements of Harmony's poor rendition of that scene. Seriously. She gone. It's over. You want to save? Yes, we do. Look, there's no more fog. The curse has disappeared. At last, all is over. I don't know you girls, but I'm not going to forget this experience never. You're right, my friend. I'm glad to see that everything is over now. I will not be able to sleep in a month. This experience was very entertaining. The best of all, I have the love of my life again. I'm happy too that everything is over. But can someone explain to me what happened? Don't worry, Trixie. I'll explain you later. Let's get out of this town. I'm tired of being here. Alright, let's go. I don't want to go there again, but I'm going to miss this place. Why would you miss it, Twilight? Anyway, Trixie never comes up again. So the whole changing her personality to fit Max's taste? Completely pointless. Why, 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 why did that happen? I don't even like Trixie that much, and her turning to Max's uh, love interest was just beyond terrible. And that what was happened. Wow, looks like you have a tough adventure. But, well, everything went fine. Yes, except for that egg. The egg? What happened with that egg? That egg opened, and then a blue monster comes out. And now... And now... It has my body. <laughs> And now your body is for us. What? What's the meaning of this? Yep. It's not over yet. This is... This is the extra boss fight that you get for finding that Easter egg. Princess, we're back from Silent Ponyville. And you know what? This makes no sense. Princess Celestia? Yeah, this, this makes no sense. Like, Twy was explaining things to Celestia. And her body was stolen or something? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. And look, now we have to face our Celestia. And, uh, well, you know how I beat Nightmare Moon? Same thing here. 
There's really no difficulty to any of these fights. Seriously. It's just poison the boss and let it rot till it dies. Something like that. And I guess you can... I guess there's another strategy you can do. You can spam max, max mode all the time. But, uh, I prefer poisoning. If you ask me. Anyway, I'm skipping this fight because this music is awful. Yep, disintegrate Celestia or Owl Celestia and become normal again. That, that, that makes sense, right? I think it does. Princess, are you alright? Yes, I'm right. What happened? And that's how a question was made! <laughs> the end. Yeah, couldn't, couldn't put effort into a proper ending after that uh, bonus fight. It, it just, like, abruptly ends in three lines of dialogue. So, that's Silent Ponyville. Uh, what do you guys think? I mean, I think my opinion of this game is rather clear already, but how do you think Silent Ponyville could have been made good? I, I, I don't want to think about it because I have three more games to play that just prove that it, that Hedgehog self really needed to pay attention to the tutorials of RPG Maker VX a bit more. Well, anyway, link in the description for a poll to choose what, what, which game I'm going to be playing after this. And check the playlist to find out about the other games in the series I'm going to be playing. Next up is Austin Cries. It's going to come up tomorrow and I'm going to be doing the whole thing in a single video. But it's actually going to... There's actually going to be a second one for an extra part of the game that I don't really care much for. More on that later. Anyway, I hope you somehow enjoyed this and hope you all have a very nice day. Bye-bye.